a couple things. One, this one really hurts um, for our, our guys, especially our older guys that um, really wanted to get this one done. Uh, that's a terrific Texas team that we played. I, I, they're one of the best teams in the country. Everybody knows that. Um, and uh, I knew that we had to catch some breaks. I knew we had to play uh, our best football, and we didn't do that the first 25 minutes of the game and give them credit. We had a stuff, tough time blocking them and sustaining blocks and, and getting off blocks. They were doing a lot of things, and uh, they got really good athletes at wide receiver that uh, um, we struggled with early on, uh, on to cover. And then uh, um, as this game goes, we flip the momentum with a big block punt and then get a touchdown and make it 17-7 at half. And um, we had nothing going for us. We block a punt and get it 17-7. And we have nothing going for us in the third and go down 27 to seven. But uh, those guys didn't flinch. I mean, our, our guys did not flinch. And uh, that's the kind of resolve that uh, um, we expect, that we, that we love about our guys. And, you know, there's a lot of different things, a play here, a play there, a call here, a call there. But it's, you know, 27 to, to 27. Um, and, um, you know, we, don't get the, the first down and, or excuse me, we miss the field goal, we get them stopped, use our timeouts, and then uh, have a great drive. Um, and then Chris bangs it through to, to tie it. And then in overtime, I, I was, we were, we were gonna try to end that game, whether they scored and we scored and it went for two, we, we were gonna try to end that game. And, and, and Colin and Will uh, loved what we had. It was at the four yard line, so it's one yard further than a two point play. Um, our, our guys were, were gassed a little bit, and, and uh, uh, their guy made a play. And um, I, I was going to tell you, we were going to win that game in overtime. You know, we, we forced them into a field goal. We get a big play to send it to start it, and we were going to go win that game. And uh, give their, their team credit. They're really good for a reason, and uh, um, we got a good football team in there. It's a good question. I think it was to send it, and they took it away, but I'm not 100% sure. That's, that's what we were trying to do. We had a couple of different things based on man, based on zone. The timeout you know, that, that was there kind of helped us settle us in. Um, and then um, you know, we looked at it, and Colin's like, I, I like it. I like it. And, um, and I, don't, I think maybe they rolled coverage a different way. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where I had it all over again, we'd have done it again. And I don't know if CK would have called something. I'm just telling you, we'd have done that again at the four yard line. We have a lot of really good offense and we needed to end that game when we had the chance. What was, what kind of, was the switch the flip for your offense? Was it just the momentum that You know, uh, us finally manufacturing a drive. We just struggled to drive the football out. We got the, we didn't do anything until we got the block punt. Then we had a nice drive and scored. And then um, we have the unfortunate turnover um, that gets them a, a, a quick seven. Uh, and it's 27 to seven. And uh, a lot of things could have gone a lot of ways then. And we manufacture a really nice drive. And we finally got some rhythm offensively to get it to 27-14, um, which probably applied a little pressure. And then we got a couple of big turnovers and scored on both turnovers. And um, we got a little rhythm throwing the football. and. and you know, the one thing that um, there's, we're not going to find any silver linings in a loss, don't get me wrong, but when Keegan and Phil and Jace uh, are healthy like they were today, we're a pretty, have a chance to be a pretty good throwing team. In the first half, you guys spread the ball a lot, just trying to set up the run game in the first half? Yeah, we were trying like heck to find ways so that we didn't have to throw it 50 times, and we ended up throwing it 42 times, but we were trying like heck. And, man, those guys are really good up front. And we had a hard time um, moving them and sustaining that movement. Um, give their, their defensive line and linebackers credit. They did some stunts, and we, we struggled. So then we, we had to throw it more than probably we wanted to. When, when you tell the team you're going for it there at the end, what was the re reaction? Well, we, yeah, I mean, O-line, Will, like, let's go win it. Absolutely. Let's, let's, go, let's go win it. We're at the four. And um, uh, we, we had a chance. And, you know, you, you just you never know. And I, you know, go kick the field goal. What if you miss the field goal? Then everybody's like, man, why didn't you, why didn't you go for it? You had them down there. It's like it's, only, it's not much different than a two-point play. Sometimes the yard probably helps you um, uh, having one more yard. But you know what? Uh, I, I 
play happened fast. Um, I know the first read was was shut down. I couldn't get back to his progression because of the of the pressure. Um, and uh, once again, they made a play. They shot, go ahead. They shot out to a 17, not really pretty quickly, but what were some of the adjustments you guys made to kind of get them slow? Well, we had to get a post player. You know, they were getting us in some formations that, that um, we didn't allow us to have a post player um, just by some of our base things. And they got really good wide receivers, and those guys can roll. And um, so we adjusted some things and knew we were going to give up a little bit more in the run game to try to get a post player. Uh, we were able to, to do that. Then we were able to get some pressure, and the pressure caused some errant throws. We had a couple picks. We had a couple drop picks. You know, we had a couple oppor other opportunities to intercept the football, and, and, and we didn't do it. And, and that's, that's this game of inches, you know, whether it's uh, something on offense, something on defense, something on special teams. It, the margin of error is so small. And uh, once again, I'm, I'm proud of the way the guys played. Chris makes the extra point, but then they blew it in. Yeah. You know, that's a good question. We had some mis miscommunication. I, they blew it dead, I think, before. Uh, that, I was hoping they didn't, but they did. And then I, I got to ask, I, we had miscommunication um, between Jack and Randon, which, um, you know, they're older guys. I don't know what happened. Uh, we'll figure that out and um, move on. What do, you, what do you think you guys are so resilient in situations like this when you're down all the scores? And just as, just you know, that's a good question. Um, our, our kids really always believe we have a shot. You know, uh, Texas really good. Uh, I kept telling the guys, you know what, we're a pretty good team too. And just keep staying the course, keep, keep staying the course. And we just, they've seen momentum change probably so quickly in other, other opportunities and games that um, once it changes, it's, it, it stays on your side and it's hard to get it back. And um, just that's what is frustrating is what we, we're down 27 to seven and we got the ball first and goal at the seven in, in overtime. Um, you know, if you'd have told me that was going to happen when we were 27 7, I, I would have taken that in a heartbeat. But uh, uh, once again, we just didn't make a last play. What do you think the guys are going to learn the most after this loss? What are the biggest takeaways? That we belong, probably. I'd say that's one of the things. Um, Texas is ranked in the top, whatever, top 10, top 8, whatever, for a reason um, because they're really talented. And, um, you know, everybody's got the next man up mentality. I know they had their backup quarterback. We've got some backups in there. It's college football. Nobody's going to feel sorry for when you get your backups in. You, gotta, you still got to execute and play. And, um, um, I, you know, I'm reminding the guys that uh, we still got a lot of football in front of us. Um, can't let the same team beat us twice. We have another great opportunity to play at home uh, at the Bill. And some of these seniors got two more shots at it. And so we're going to be disappointed. For 24 hours, for sure, like we should, and then Monday we got to come back and go to work. Does it feel like the pop pass in overtime gets through if the guy just doesn't make a play? On the ball? I couldn't see it. You know, I, I I couldn't see it. I know it was called and it was a run pass option, and I and I didn't see who got their hand on it. Was he open? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you never want to have to talk about the losses and compare the losses, but the move in the locker room after this game compared to any Oklahoma State. No, moods are always bad when you lose. Doesn't matter, you know. And the, the, the euphoria of a win, and it doesn't matter who you beat. Uh, that that never, never gets old. And um, when you lose a game, no matter how you lose, who you lose to, um, it stinks, man. And, and those guys, they want to win every game. They they prep and practice and prepare their tail off to have the opportunity to be successful on Saturday. Doesn't mean you're going to be, but we always want to have that chance, and that's. That's why I, I'm, I'm upset that we lost, but man, watching what our guys did in that second half was pretty impressive. How nice was it that, that Chris got another chance to, to, to go out there and make that possible? Yeah, it, it, was, it was big, and um, that's one thing that I think his, his mindset has changed from last year. Um, he doesn't let things get to him, and he pounded that last one. I, I, I knew he was going to make that one. I was, I was excited for him to get the opportunity. I would have hated him not to have the opportunity. Great stop by our, by our defense, use all their timeouts. And then Will does a phenomenal job getting us down there uh, on a drive. And, um, you know, we, we wanted to take one more shot, and they blitzed us. We threw it away, and we were able to get the field goal. So that was, it was, a, big, that was a big drive with whatever it was, a minute left and no timeouts. You have to wait for a game like that from Keegan. Yep. 
But um, yeah, he absolutely can if he's healthy. Absolutely can if he's healthy. Um, and uh, um, that's kind of what we saw all through fall camp. I, I don't know. I, I, I who knows? You know, we, we caused a couple turnovers, but um, you know, he made he made a lot of good plays. I was really impressed with him. He made a lot of really good throws. Uh, hung in there. Uh, we hit him some. I, I was really impressed with him. He's a good player.